Good day everyone. Welcome po sa ating pong family altar. For the past days, we are discussing about the attributes of God. Today, we look at God's self-existence. Now, we can say that uh, the attribute of God about self-existence is the mother of all mysteries about God. And it's also a source of contention against theism or those who believe in the existence of God by those who claim to be atheists. At uh, maraming po mga tao, they can re readily claim or believe in the existence of God. But to some, it is a problem because they want to know how God does exist. Na ito pong ganito ng understanding ay nag up during na, during po ng period na kung saan po ay nagiging famous na po yung tinatawag po na evolutionary origin po ng lahat po ng bagay. Now to some, even the phrase itself, self-existence, to describe the existence of God, is a cause of problem. According to them, if he caused himself, or if God caused himself to exist, then he has a beginning, and he has, if he has a beginning, then he is like just his creation. Now, this attribute, self-existence of God, is important because we can say that all other attributes hang on our faith and understanding about these attributes of God, of self-existence. Now, even the simplest idea about God is nothing, and do not matter if He did not exist. Now, definitely po, tayo po as human being, we don't have and we cannot explain everything about God because He is God. He is mystery. Na mayroon po isang bata na nagbuhukay po sa uh, gilid po ng isang dagat at maraming pong curious ang tatanong sa bata kasi matagal na po siya nagbuhukay at malalim na po ang kanyang nakukay. Tinanong po nila yung bata, sabi, ng bata, sabi po nila sa bata, anong gagawin mo, uh, boy, dyan sa inukay mo? At ang sabot po ng bata, inilipat ko yung dagat dito po sa aking hinukukay. So, kagaya po ng kaalaman po tungkol sa God, even the mystery about God, we can never put everything and even explain every detail about God using just our finite mind and finite thinking. Now, even the Bible itself is not direct in its explanation about the attribute of God of self-existence. Sa Bible, makita pa natin, especially Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it just assume the existence of God. Sabi po, in the beginning, God. Sinasabi po, meron na pong God. Now, it doesn't mean that we cannot be objective in our belief in the existence of God. Now, God's self-existence means He exists in and of Himself. Siya po yung exist sa, sa kanya pong katangian, sa kanyang kalooban, sa kumagitan niya, at ayon po sa kanya. Now, self-existence means that God has no origins, and consequently is answerable to no one. Wala po siyang beginning and part of his uh, attributes of self-existence, yung kind of eternality. Okay? Now, definitely po, self-existence of God is a hard concept for us to grapple. Because we can say that God himself is unknowable. Hindi po natin lahat-lahat malalaman patukol sa God. Now, God's self-existence means that He is not answerable to us or to anybody. Hindi po niya kailangan sagutin or uh, bigyan po ng uh, sagot sa mga bagay po ng tatanong po ito o tukul po kung paano po siya nag-exist. Now, He exists by His own power and, in, and is the cause of His own being. Okay? Meaning that the mystery of His being resides just Himself that he, that, that he must create His own being. So, yung pong mystery about His self-existence ay nasa Kanya pong kalooban o nasa Kanya pong uh, essence bilang God. Now, even Plato, could say that God is beyond existence. Ang philosopher mismo na si Kat, nagsasabi na ang Diyos po higit pa dun sa mga bagay na sinasabi po ng mga tao. Now, mahalaga rin po tingnan po natin yung tinatawag po ng mga confessions or confessional statement po ng ating mga church fathers. Sapagkat po ang contention ng idea po ng self-existence ay hindi lang po modern, kung ito po yung noon pa po ginagrapple po ng maraming po mga mga tao. That's why confessional writings of our church fathers play important role to make sense of this attribute of self-existence. Because sa uh, mga tipong mga church father, they were God's instrument in history as defenders of our Christian faith okay, to ground and to lay the foundation of our theology that we are enjoying sa panahon po natin ngayon. Now, tinan po natin, halimbawa, and I quote, si Eusebius po, sabi niya, Everything that ever, ever existed or now exists derives its being from the one the only existent and pre-existent being who also said, I am the existent. 
as the only being and eternal being, he is himself the cause of existence of all those to whom he has imparted existence from himself by his will and his power, and gives existence to all things and the powers and forms richly and ungrudgingly from himself. So, siya po, nag, dahil po siya po ay nag exist hindi uh, po natin alam yung full mystery how God existed by his own, but he caused his self to, be, to, exist, to exist, kaya po siya ang source ng lahat ng existence na meron po tayo ngayon. Okay? Si Oregon, sabi po niya, and all things that exist derive their share of being from him who truly exists, who said through Moses, I am that I am. With which participation in God, the Father extends to all, both righteous and sinners, rational and irrational creatures, and absolutely everything that exists. Si Christos Tom, Christos Tom po, sabi niya, More, uh, Moreover, do you wish to learn about this eternity? Listen to what Moses said about the Father. When he had inquired what he should answer, if he should be asked by the Egyptian, who was what that sent him, he was bidden to say, He who sent me knows the world, the words, he who is, mean that he exists always and is without beginning, and that he really exists and exists as Lord and Master. Okay, now going back to the text that Oregon mentioned in Exodus chapter 3, verse 13 to 14, ito pong sinasabi. Then Moses said to God, If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they asked me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, this, it, this, Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Now, this is more than a name. Ito po ay masigit pa sa pangalan because it is a description. Ito po ay descriptive, pointing to all that God is in himself. Siya lang po in himself. In particular, it shows him to be the one who is entirely self-existent, self-sufficient, and eternal. Wala po siyang kailangan. Is, hindi po siya uh, insufficient that he needs anything kapag siya po ay self-existent at siya po ay eternal. Okay? Now, these are abstract concepts. No? Sasabi natin abstract siya. Okay? But these are important for these attributes, especially po yung self-existent ng ating Panginoon. Uh, set God apart from His creation and reveal Him as being what He is in Himself. Sabihin po, mga magulang, mga kapatid, ito po ang distinctiveness ng Panginoon. He is set apart away from us as creation because we have beginning and we have also ending. Sabi po, ng, sabi po ng mga scholars, God comes from God. That's why He is self-existence. Nothing other than God Himself can be regarded as God's origin in Himself, inside Him, in His essence. Siya po ay self-existence. Neither being nor nothingness, God is His own origin. God lives and He lives totally out of Himself alone. Okay? Now, if God exists endlessly, then he never came into existence, nor was he ever caused to come into existence. He is endlessly self-existence. Okay? Bagamat yung term po na self-existent or self-existence ay uh, contention kasi nga po parang pinapakita rin that God caused himself to exist. That's why he has a beginning. Pero masasabi po natin that uh, part of the mystery of God's, God's self-existence is that he ex uh, siya po nag-exist endlessly. Okay? He never came into existence okay, because someone or somebody caused his existence. That's why he has no beginning okay, and no, he has no ending. Okay. He endlessly self-exists or existent. Okay. Some describe the verse as future. Yung pong sinabi ng Panginoon kay Moses. Moses, I am what I am. Okay. Because uh, some uh, translate po yung text na to as uh, I will be uh, I will be, okay? Now, yung pong term na Yahweh, okay? Yan po ay referring to uh, the future, okay? Pero po, it doesn't matter kasi yung I am is present. It doesn't matter. God himself is not affected by time. Okay? He is even before time because he is self-existent. Okay? So, that's part of the mystery of the existence of God. Pero we can say that we can be objective because we believe that God exists and He exists in and of Himself because of His power and authority and eternality. Now, mahalaga siguro, ay tingnan po natin, what are the implications of God's self-existence sa ating mga buhay? Paano po natin ito may apply? Paano po ito magiging importanteng bahagi po ng ating buhay bilang mga kumilala po sa ating Panginoon? Number one, our existence is a better starting point. 
Dahil po God is self-existent, siya po ay nag-exist, ang ating pong sariling existence ay meron pong magandang panimula. Okay? Now, one uh, famous cosmologist, patay na po siya, si Stephen Hawking, when asked by some, by one anchor about uh, what is before Big Bang, kasi po, they are, uh, he is one of the promoters about uh, the Big Bang. Tinanong po siya, ano ang bago pa yung Big Bang? What is before Big Bang? At ang sabi po niya, he answered, nothing, wala. Wala po bago ang Big Bang. So, sinasabi po, parang sinasabi that our creation, according to them, is just out of the random activities of atoms and energies, and these random actions of atoms and energies cause our existence, okay? pero kung random lang po ang ating existence, okay? eh, it, it could be nothing because we, uh, wala po itong halaga sapagkat wala pong purpose, wala pong meaning. Okay? Pero sinasabi po ng Salita ng Panginoon, Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 to 17, or by Him, all things were created. Meron pong magandang pasimula pong ating existence because it is, it is God who is self-existence who created us and caused our existence as creation, as human being. Okay? For by Him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through Him and for Him. And He is before all things and in Him all things hold together. So, isa po sa implication na ang God po ay nag-exist because of His self-existence is that we have a better starting point of our existence. We did not start out of nothing. We, are, we, we started because God created us. And that's a wonderful uh, starting point of our own creation as human being. Pangalawa po, uh, related po doon sa randomness no, na, pina, na pinapormal po ng mga atheists, because God exists, because of His self-existence, life has meaning and purpose. Ang buhay po ay may kahulugan at mayroong pong layunin. Now, we did not exist out of random causes, but by the ultimate first cause. Ang ating pong Panginoon, siya po ay ang ating ultimate first cause. Kung babalikan po natin ang ating pong uh, creation, kung saan tayo nang galing, we will arrive at the first cause, and the first cause is none other than the uncaused God who self-existed out of His power. Magmumang tayo po'y bag-aatras pabalik po no, sa unang pinagmula ng lahat, walang iba kundi po ang ating Panginoon. Okay? We will arrive ultimately to the first cause who is loving and intelligent creator. Tayo po'y darating po sa punto na kung saan makita po natin ang lumika po sa atin ay ang Diyos na papagmahal at Diyos na marunong po sa lahat. Okay? That's why the reason we have purpose. Okay? Now, existence and purpose is inseparable. Ang ating pong pag exist at ang ating layunin, bakit po tinag-exist, ay hindi po pwedeng paghiwalay yun. So, we can say that no man can uh, uh, just simply neglect or ignore his purpose. Now, pwede tayong hindi nag exist but God calls our existence because it has a purpose. Meron pong layunin. Okay? So, we can, uh, kaya po, but we can only find our meaning and purpose in God alone because He alone is our Creator. Now, we can, never rep, we can never produce our own purpose as human being. We will fail. Pero kung po ang purpose po natin, hanapin po natin sa Panginoon, we can live a life that is enjoyable and happy in this world. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our image our, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens, over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth. Now, being created in the image of God is the foundation of our purpose. Sa pagkakalikha po na tayo po inilikha sa imahe ng Panginoon, ang fundasyon po ng ating layunin, bakit po tayo nabubuhay. Now, we, we are created for the honor of God. Tayo po inilikha para sa karangalan po ng Panginoon. Now, we do it by exemplifying through our lives the image of God. Ginagampanan po natin yun sa pagigam po ng pagsasabuhay ng imahe ng Panginoon sa ating pong mga buhay. So, pangatlo po natin na implication of believing and trusting and understanding the self-existence of God is that because we have purpose, pangatlo po natin implication, life is enjoyable. Napakainan po mabuhay, but our life is, should be within the bounds of absolute moral law. Okay? Na kahit po meron po tayong boundaries as, uh, as theists, as believer of God, or as Christians, we can still live enjoyable life. Now, because God exists, there is an absolute moral law 
to guide our existence to make it worth living. Dahil po nag-i-exist ang God, mga magulang mga kapatid, mayroon pong isang absolute, unchanging moral law because there is a moral law giver. Mayroon pong nagbigay. Okay? So we are bounded of this, uh, in this moral law so that we cannot cause unhappiness to others and even to ourselves. Kaya po mayroong moral law okay, sa ating kaisipan, sa ating innate uh, instincts, sa ating po bilang human being. Maraming po tayong alam na hindi dapat gawin at mali na dapat natin hindi gagawin sa mundo ito. Now, ito po yung nagbabound sa atin. Ito po yung nagbabind sa atin. Nagbibigay sa atin ng boundaries so that hindi po tayo makapag-cause ng uh, unhappiness sa ibang tao pag, nalag, pag tayo po yung lumabag and even unhappiness to ourselves. Okay? So, within our inner, innate being, there is some form of moral judgment that distinguishes us from animals. Meron po tayong kaisipan ng human being na naging dahilan para po tayo maging, maging kakaiba okay? sa mga hayop mo sa ating pong paligid. Okay? Yung mga hayop po, wala po silang moral judgment o understanding. Lahat kaya nilang gawin ang mga bagay. Diba? Pero tayo po bilang mga tayo, meron tayong moral judgment because God exists. And because God exists, there is moral absolute moral law sa ating pong kamigan. Okay? Now, we believe it comes, this moral judgment, believe, we believe comes only to the one who created us as moral being. Ganun lang po ito sa Diyos na nag-exist. Sapagkat ang Diyos po ay nilikha tayo bilang mga moral being. Now, because of that, we enjoy life. We enjoy our relationship with other creation, fellow human beings, and even creation around us, such as animals, nature, and even enjoying our lives in the midst of society. Kaya na po maraming pong problema po ang ating society, sosyedad. Tayo po nababuhay po na may kagalakan sapagkat alam po natin nag-exist ang Panginoon. Okay? That's why because God exists, we enjoy life even uh, within the bound of moral uh, judgment and law. That's why we do justice. Mahal po natin ang justisya. Okay? We maintain harmony with, with nature, with human beings, and even harmony within ourselves. We don't want to destroy beauty. And if it is being destroyed, we, we restore beauty. Because this is, these are the justified, because these are justified in the moral law of God. Because He exists. Kaya po, magandang mabuhay sapagkat ang Diyos po yung nag-exist at tayo po yung nabubuhay ng ligaya kahit po tayo po yung bounded by the moral law that God created inside us. Sabi sa Micah 6, 6 to 8, sabi nito, With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I become Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a, calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? Verse 8, He has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Ito po sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon, okay, for us, Because of our moral boundaries, sabi ng Panginoon, ito ang nire-require sa atin ng Panginoon. And by following these moral boundaries, we can live an enjoyable life. Now, this is because God existed. Ang Diyos po ay nag-exist. Next po sa ating implication. Now, our faith is solid and indestructible foundation. Because God exists out of His self-existence. Ang ating po pala ng palataya po ay matibay at matatag. Hindi po kailan naman matitinag. Meron po matibay na pundasyon. That's why, because God exists, there's no limit in our faith because God exists. And our hope in His work in our lives is for a lifetime. Now, dahil po nag-exist ang God, wala pong limitasyon ang pwede nating panampalatayan at panaligan sa ating Panginoon. At ang ating po pag-asa po, walang boundary. Now, ito po'y, ito po'y ating direksyon, ito po'y ating guidance. And ito po'y nag-work ang ating faith at ating hope habang tayo po'y nabubuhay. At hindi po ito kailanman madidestroy o hindi ito po ay nakatato, nakatatag po sa matibay na foundation of the existence of God. Okay? Now, nung sinabi po ng pang ni Moses, anong pangalan mo, Panginoon, para sabihin ko sa mga anak, sa iyong, pong, sa iyong bayan? Moses is not demanding to know God's name per se. Hindi niya sinasabi acquaintance para malaman ang pangalan ng God, but the character behind the name. Ang gustong malaman ni Moses ay yung pong description, yung character behind the name. At ang sa ano pong sagot ng Panginoon, I am who I am. Okay? This appeals to God's existence. Ito po yung nag-appeal patungkol po sa pag-exist ng God. Kaya sinasaya po sa Revelation chapter 4 verse 8, sa po doon, 
the Lord Almighty who was and is and is to come. Revelation sabi po rito, Revelation 4.8 And the four living creatures, each of, them, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and within. And day and night they never cease to say, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Yan po yung karakter po ng ating Panginoon. Now, God is not bound by time. And uh, and while He is present, sabi niya, I am, He will always be present. And even in the future, sabi niya, so I am, would embrace that as well, sabi po ng Panginoon. He will be present today. He will also be present in the future. He will always be present anytime because God is not bounded by time. He's not bounded by space nor time because God is eternal. And part of his eternality is that he exists and he calls himself to exist. Lastly po sa ating implication, sabi natin kanina, mayroong magandang starting point ang ating life because God exists. Now, at the end of our life, life has a better ending than death. Sa so, implication po natin, ang buhay po natin, ay mayroong mas magandang huling kahinatnan, mas maganda pa sa kamatayan. Okay? Because he exists, there is also an everlasting existence that awaits His people, especially those who trust and hope in Him. Dahil po ang Diyos po ay nag-i-exist, He calls Himself to exist in self-existence, sabi po, meron din po tayong pag-asa. We can exist in everlasting and eternal future because of our hope in this God who exists. Meron din po tayong everlasting existence balang araw. Now, that is not the end, but the beginning of a true existence like Him, our Master, our Lord. So, hindi pa sa kamatayan, mas maganda pa. Walang iba kundi ang buhay na walang hanggan. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like His glorious body with the power that enables Him even to subject all things to Himself. Now, this is the promise of God, that someday, even though we die, okay, our lowly body will be transformed, will be uh, likened to His glorious body, and we live forever in eternity with a God who exists and God who is with us. Okay? So, mga magulang mga kapatid, even though the understanding of God's self-existence is very much mysterious and baffling, pero po mga magulang mga kapatid, it has a powerful implication for us because our God lives, because God exists, and His existence is caused okay, by Himself in, in Him and of Him. Okay? We can never fully understand because it is God so, salamat sa Panginoon sapagat ang Diyos po natin ay buhay. Mayroon pong tunay na maayos, mayroon pong tunay na kahinatan po ang ating buhay. Pasimula po natin ang ating layunin at ating kahinatan balang araw ay mayroon pong katiyakan dahil po sa Diyos po na nag exist because of His self, because of the power of His self-existence. Kaya po mga magulang mga kapatid, let's continue to trust God. Let's continue to uh, put our lives in the hands of God. Uh, ating po mga buhay maging secure at sigurado po dahil po sa ating Diyos na nag-exist because of His existence power, existing power. Tayo po yung manalangin. Nakilang Diyos, nagpapasalamat po kami sapagkat, Panginoon, hindi po mapapasabalian. We can see and feel and sense around us, O oh God, that You are existing. Father, You are true. Look, Father, You are a person. God, we can sense, O oh God, Lord, You in our family, and even in our personal life, Father God, Lord. We will never fully understand how You existed, but Lord, we hold on to your attribute, O oh God, that you cause yourself to exist. Your existence is in and of you. It is within yourself, and the mystery is within your essence, O oh God. Lord, as our, our limited understanding, we can never and will never ever grasp, O oh God, Lord, this understanding. But Lord, we have your words, O oh God, Lord, to hold on. We can be objective in our faith in you, O oh God, that you are existing, that you are a true God, and we can hold on our lives, O God, Lord, and trust to you everything. Salamat po, Panginoon, Ama. May pag-asa po nga may mga buhay. May mga naghihintay pagdating ng panahon dahil po ikaw ay buhay at nag-i-exist magpakailanman. Salamat po. Tintiwala po namin sa inyo po ang aming mga buhay. Ito po ang aming samudalangin sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoon Yesus. Amen at amin. Magandang gabi po at maraming maraming salamat po sa bawat isa po sa atin.